Hello and welcome along. Today we are back on the interior. Uh, we're going to be doing some work on the factory area today. We're going to see if we can produce some pallets from some of the wood we've cut. So uh, we need fuel up there is the only thing. So we've got this fuel proof at Bowser. Uh, and, uh, and I filled it up with uh, a thousand litres of fuel. Uh, I'm going to drive that up there with our Ford 5000 here. So uh, let's jump in. And away we go. So yeah, um, this probably won't go too far a thousand meters. But we are still very in the early stages. We don't have a lot of money. And, uh, and we need to sort of conserve how much we're spending on, on these bits. Oops. Oh. So seeing as we need to conserve uh, how much we're spending, we uh, have not bought the most expensive fuel bars we could, uh, and it does only hold a thousand meters, but we'll see how far this goes. Now the road we want to take is not the next one, because that's where we've been doing our logging up there, where we want is up this way. Slightly better made track. But this tractor does struggle to get up a little bit. And I'm hoping it's not going to struggle to get up here completely for this fuel browser. Otherwise, we're going to have to go back and get the 6x6 to get it up there. Alright, it's struggling a bit. This is not the world's most powerful tractor, and I think we are going to have to get a new tractor soon. Because neither the Valmont we have, nor this, have a particularly high amount of power. Although, I would have thought 100 horsepower, we could have at least gone up the hills around here. It seems uh, strange to have that much of an issue. We'll find out in a second. This only gets steeper. And the trick I've found so far is to just keep your foot down and hope. And here we go. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it up this bit. Oh, no. Here's a little trick. Make your climb a little less steep. By sort of winding up, winding around a little bit. And eventually we'll make it to the top. There we go. Might have to do this on the next bit as well. Yeah, definitely. Yes, I have traction. No, I think we may have to get the 6x6 to get up here. It is a very steep road, this. Yeah. We don't have enough power in our tractor for this. So I'm just going to pull over here and we'll pop off and get the 6x6. That's annoying. 
Oh. And it doesn't come off e properly either. Right. Let's get this up there. This is by far our most powerful piece of kit. We seem to be stuck in reverse. There we go. The thing is that that Ford actually, the only thing it's really good for at the moment is powering our uh, chipper. If I'm doing any towing or pulling or carting or anything, really I should use the 6x6. It can actually get everywhere and it does have more power than either of our tractors. So I think it, uh, yeah. from that point of view, we do need a new tractor because we, we just can't pull stuff up the hills. connect up to this fuel browser. It should write itself doing that. This of course is highly realistic. If it will connect up, it should do. There we go. Right. And immediately away we go. Much more power in this. I think I'm just going to use the 6x6 to cart anything on this map. It's a little bit cold, so I'm a, uh, I apologise if my voice is a little bit strange today. Right, now fuel, I think, goes in... Where does the fuel go in? there. Ooh. This trailer does want to turn a lot easier than it should. Is that it? Diesel start. There we go. Uh, nine. I'm not sure which is button 9. There we go. That's got it. So this should get this up and running. And what we're going to do next is we need to supply it with some materials. We do have a few bits in here. Yeah, we do have some in here. But we also have this, so Ooh, let's go and turn our 6x6 six six on first. And before I start moving stuff about, let's have a look at the screen and see what we have. So, we have... 5% uh, of the fuel we need, so we do need a lot more fuel. But that's enough to get us started for now. Next, we're going to get this here. We're going to drop this bucket off front, because this bucket has a... Uh, we knew how use for this. But what we need today... our Valmet. See, our Valmet was always designed to be a tractor that just remained here. Um, I should probably not have taken it down to our loading area last time. I think that's the thing with the Ford as well. The Ford shouldn't be used it really as anything other than a tractor for doing the, the jibbing with. I mean, it's not even designed, it's not even powerful enough really to, to pull any of the trailers. Which is kind of why we have the 6x6 in the first place.
adjustable width on these forks. There we go. to the other one. So I'm intrigued as to once we've got pallets into here. There we go, there's two sets. Doesn't seem to have started yet. What have I missing? I don't think it requires wood chips. same time, I'm not sure what it does require. But pallet planks... Yeah. This is what these are. I thought we'll go and have another look at this setup in a minute. There is something missing from this end here. No, that's that's the fuel. Okay, so that's the fuel there. So that's the planks there. That should be enough to get this started. I hope. Pallets empty. But that's what it produces, isn't it? That's a bit strange. Yeah, that's where the don't know what failing wood is. Oh, failing wood must be an output. Failing wood must be an output. Pallets must be an output and wood chips is an output. And we've got wood and fuel, so... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why it's not moving. In the meantime... take this and uh, we're going to move some of the wood chip that we've got into the fuel area over this way. So put this here and get our bucket back. Kind of wondering what the failing wood is and where that gets out because that's interesting. So this here is the wood chip output from uh, <coughs> from the creation of the pallet. Bits, and the great thing is, it can go straight back in here as fuel to get more pallets made or more pallet planks made, which is awesome. But the fuel for this is the fuel that it gets output by the factory. Yes, over time you're you're going to get less wood chips out than you're putting in, but it does mean that you just keep recycling the uh, contents.
Oh, I don't know actually. I don't know how much, how many wood chips it, you get out for. That's an interesting question actually. And obviously the wood chips come out of the wood that you put in here. But I wonder if you make enough wood chips from a piece of wood to actually fuel an entire load from the next time. That would be pretty cool. That would almost make this um, this factory self-sustaining as far as its fuel goes. It's certainly got it going again and we're producing pallet bits again. See, this one just immediately kicked up. Whereas that one does not seem to have even started going yet. set up a conveyor belt system though to take them straight out of there and straight into here and make this completely self-sufficient. That would work true. So we've got 5,000 in here and, wow, we've still got about 30, 36,000, really? If I miss that, 6,599 in here and 9,000, 9, so that's more like it. We take 1,200 out each time. But I think we're okay for sustaining this for a while now. So I'm going to stop doing that at the moment and we'll go and check on those pallets again. See if they've actually started to work. If not, then I need to work out why. Oh, we have a green light. We have a green light. Does that mean we're actually making pallets? Info pallets empty. You see, that doesn't make any sense to me, that. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Now I'm not supposed to put wood chips come out of there. That's why it has the flute. And that tells me how much I have. That's the amount of wood I input. Why I would have pallets that are... Yeah, I can't see any other requirement for pallets or anything else in here. I don't know how this starts. Very weird. That's very, very weird. Yeah. Pallet, wood chips, pallets, and failing wood, I think, are its outputs. There's nowhere else for me to input anything. This is an output for the pallets here. But it doesn't seem to want to output them. I think I'm going to have to have a look, further look at that. It's not, not behaving itself at all. 
Because, and the trouble is, that in here, we need water. Yeah, this is a coal, this is produces coal, I think. This requires water, it requires pallets. Yeah, this produces coal. Cool. Uh, so we need water and uh, water, pallets, and failing wood. I think. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. So you can see it up there. Okay. Oh, let's go and have a look at this other one down here then, and have a look at its screen because the the stuff in the F1 panel is completely fouled up. So what is this? There we go. Diesel. We are. Okay. This does seem to require. Lear Palatin. That could be. Failing wood. That would be what we're missing. It says pallets empty. But. Hang on. No, that is, yeah, that is wood chip. I will be back shortly once I have got that word, what we're missing. I think it's pallets. I don't know where you create pallets, though, if that's the case. Unless that's failing wood, but where do I pick up failing wood? And where do I unload it, if that's the case? Is, that... Is this definitely doesn't take it? Yeah, logs and yeah. And this... Better part of it, yeah. I need to look into this a bit more, I think. I think this may be something we continue next time because at the moment we are missing something. I am not 100% sure what it is. Um, this has been a little bit of a funny episode as well. So, uh, yeah, next time we will get this up and working. I will find out what uh, Lear Palatin is and, uh, and we'll get some in here and... Uh, try and get this up and running uh, but for now uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this episode please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time goodbye